Okay, we move to Spanish because that's bullshit. A few hours back, Rafael Nadal lost his opening round robin match to defending ATP Needles Finals champion Alexander Zverev, 6-2, 6-4. Nadal was clearly not the same player that won this year's US Open, as his shots were landing far shorter than usual, and he made a plethora of unforced errors. This prompted Italian tennis journalist Ubaldo Scanagata to question the Spaniard's recent marriage to wife Isca Perello. Uh, well, tonight you were playing very short many times, I don't know why, because no, it's not used, you're not used to that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'd like to know, for many people, people to get uh, married is a very important and distracted thing. Mm -hmm. Before the marriage, during the marriage, after the marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, your concentration on tennis life has been a bit different, even if you were going out with the same. Honestly, are you asking me this? Yeah. Is a serious question or is it a joke? Is it serious? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I surprise. It's a big surprise for me. You ask me this after being with the same girl for 15 years and having a very stable and normal life. Doesn't matter if you put a ring on your finger or not. In my, in my personal way, I am a very normal guy. M maybe for you, was it the complete, how, how many years you have been with your... Five, ten years this year, but... When and I before the... Be years, after, so ah, maybe you were not sure, six, that's why. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we move to Spanish because that's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> The audio did cut out at times, so if you couldn't hear or understand what was being asked, Ubaldo said, Tonight you were playing very short many times. I don't know why because you're not used to that. I like to know, for many people to get married is a very important distracted thing before the marriage, during the marriage, after the marriage. I like to know if somehow your concentration on tennis life has been a bit different, even if you're going out with the same girl for many, many years. This was painful to watch because there's literally no reason for Ubaldo saying what he said. This is Rafa's first loss since being married, and let's not forget he played very good in Paris up until he suffered the abdominal pull. I could see if Nadal was constantly struggling, but it's just one loss. Even if he coincidentally had a tough time after being married to his wife, you still don't say something like that. Not to mention he just got married three weeks ago. A variety of things go into a player's poor performance, and it's generally not just one thing. Zverev made it very tough for the Spaniard to have any type of momentum, and credit should definitely go to him. Still, I don't know how anyone can have the balls to ask that question to one of the game's greats, but he wouldn't be the first Italian to get under Rafa's skin. What are your thoughts of this entire situation? Do you happen to agree with the reporter and think his questions were justifiable, or do you think it was an inconsiderate and idiotic thing to do? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever you post new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Grand Slam Tennis News Today.